May the force be with any foreign film hoping to hit Chinese cinema screens. The force in question, the state administration of press publication, radio, film and television, which is not afraid to use the scissors. An example is last year's British spy film Kingsman, four minutes of which were cut from the Chinese release. Four minutes in which Colin Firth's Galahad kills dozens of people in a church. In the Chinese version, Firth takes out his weapon in church and promptly leaves. The reason? A strict application of Article 25 of the Censorship Code, which forbids films that promote pornography, gambling or violence. The censor also watches over films that might potentially offend Chinese interests and national honour. In the 2012 Bond film Skyfall, just one scene fell victim to the censor, the one where a Chinese security guard is murdered in cold blood. In the version cut for Chinese release, the scene has magically vanished. There was even more attention to detail in the Franco-Chinese production The Nightingale, in which a bus breaks down, which proved to be a surprisingly touchy subject when the director submitted the script to Chinese authorities. In my initial scripts, the bus breaks down and it isn't repaired until the next morning. But I was told in China, it doesn't take a whole night to repair an engine. So it would be better to move the action on more quickly. So I made it that the bus get repaired sooner. I think the people from the census office want to give a more positive image of China. This was the same experience for the producers of the recent Hollywood film Pixels, who were asked to reconsider destroying the Great Wall of China in the film. The censor told them it is actually unnecessary because it will not benefit the China release at all. I would then recommend not to do it. And Pac-Man was also asked not to level the streets of Shanghai. In the end, it was Manhattan where Pac-Man went to town. And in Asia, it was the Taj Mahal that got destroyed. For filmmakers, such modifications are a pill they're willing to swallow to break into a huge market that's expected to soon overtake the United States. Every day, 10 new cinema screens are opened in China, meaning the censors will be kept busy.